happy 22. Are you enjoying yourself right now? Are you recovering well enough after last night's big party, big shit dig? Yeah, we're 22 right now in this new millennium. Or we're quarter, whatever. Yes, I hope all of you had a safe, pleasant time, you know, for celebrating New Year's Eve. I myself, well, I'm still partying hard, as you can see. Hey, who's to say there's only Coke in the... Uh, trust me, there is. Well, as promised, I was going to start changing things around on this YouTube channel. What I was doing, over 270 or 80 videos, just sucked. Nobody likes comedy. Or that I'm just not funny at all. So therefore, I'm going to start going down the rabbit hole more often and start rechasing American crime. You know, some of those unsolved mysteries. Speculate. Speculations is key here on YouTube. You have to speculate on some of the things that... Well, in most cases, we have to speculate here on YouTube. And then, well, yes, occasionally visit some of the urban legend type of paranormal things that we all love to chase. When it comes to American crime, mysteries that are just unsolved, in certain cases, for me, it's kind of like watching a movie that I absolutely love, hoping that maybe when you watch it this time, there might be something that you didn't quite catch you know, the first hundred times you watch this film. Same thing when it comes to television series. Whether it's a comedy. Oh, can't say comedy here because nobody likes funny stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Or drama. Okay, like Breaking Bad for an example. One of the best known television series to date. And I've watched that series. I can't tell you how many times. And to this day, anytime I've watched an episode, I still feel like I'm seeing something new. Hell, I'm a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. Huge Quentin Tarantino fan. It took me, I think, the third time around where it caught on me. The director, the writer, I can't think of his name right now. Damn it, I normally know it just like that. Because that's because I got the camera on. There's no doubt about it, he's a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. The characters' names. Pinkman, Mr. Pink, White. My whole point of it is, I tend to go down rabbit holes way too damn much, even when it's just fun, fantasy, you know, just fictional, or when it is non-fictional, which it gets a little bit more, well, obviously way too deep. And when it comes to this particular individual, uh, well, what really all started uh, last week, I was having a phone conversation with uh, someone who I you know, hold dearly to my heart. Very special person. And I love her to death. And, I'm, and she brought up something that made me think more that I didn't really think about so much before about Ms. Casey Anthony. And she brought up, you know, as Casey, has she been, she tried to get pregnant? You know, in other words, has she had a life since, you know, those 12 people, hell, that's a mystery alone. Took them 11 hours to come up with that verdict of not being guilty. Ah, uh, never mind. Real quick, I want to make sure that I don't cover the whole entire Casey Anthony, you know, date by date, because we'll be here forever. And Lord knows you probably know more about this case than what I do. But I thought, you know, this would be the first place to visit since I was reminded and... I came across a video that's about six, seven months old. Never seen it before. Maybe you haven't. In the description box, I will leave a link to that video. It's one of those police cam videos, you know, that we see a lot these days. Well, I'll show you a little bit of it. And afterwards, I'm going to share with you some thoughts that just came to me, like, well, as I was watching it. So here you go. for a while. I have her cell phone number. Okay. If it helps. Do you know her name? Her name is Thelma Moya. Thelma Magali Moya. She goes by Thelma Moya. Yeah. Okay. And what happened? Um, she verbally assaulted me, but physically assaulted me with witnesses. I'm so damp from the drink she threw at me. And why did she throw a drink at you? We had a verbal altercation outside. Outside over there? Yeah. And, and elaborate, like what happened? Um, we dated the same person for a couple years. Malcolm Allison, who was with your department, one of your sergeants. 
Whether they're together or not together, she got upset that he had texted me. I let her know that he had, and she came inside and threw a drink at me. Okay, do you have your ID with you? Yes, I do. Even though I've watched this video a couple other times, I'm just getting hot, not to mention the lights are on me right now, but I'm glad I'm getting Casey Anthony out of the way first because every single time I go down this rabbit hole of Casey Anthony, I get pretty ticked off because this monster has infuriated me and I think millions of people around the world. But this latest video, this police cam video what, about six, seven months ago, Oh, just in the two minutes alone that I showed you. Link in the description box, like I said, if you wanna watch the whole thing. But just the fact that, all right, I, I told myself I wasn't gonna do this, but I have to. Obviously over 10 years ago in 2008, when one of the charges that they did have a get on her, you know, because she basically had the cops go down a rabbit hole, took her around, lied to her about so many things. You know, first, one of her statements was, oh, she didn't get the police involved. She didn't call 911 because she wanted to handle this herself. Well, it's because you and I both know, you and I, yes, you, 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 and you, she knew where Kaylee was at. That's why she didn't really call the cops. But then later on, in more recent uh, interviews, in fact, it was this one right here uh, that I'm about to show you real quick. Here's another reason why she didn't call the police. Well, you were also convicted of one thing. Lying to the cops. Right. People lie to the cops every day. Cops lie to people every day. I'm just one of the unfortunate idiots who admitted that they lied. I see why I was treated the way that I was, even had I been completely truthful with those officers. What were you truthful about? And yes. I understand it might have been out it, of panic. It, no, know. it was things that I didn't know at the time. To your understanding, how did she die? I don't know. You don't know? Something about drowning, possibly. Everyone else has their theories. I don't know. She didn't call the police because police lie to people all the time. Yeah, that's a good excuse. Let me put myself in her flip-flops. My son is missing. I'll handle it myself. I'm not going to get the police involved because they lie to us all the time. They're gonna get my hopes up, apparently. Guess what, we found your son. No, we didn't, <laughs> it was a lie. I don't know how Casey Mines worked. I mean, dear Lord, she's been lying to everyone since day one. I mean, it amazes me that she was in an altercation in this video that then she chooses to call 911. But you know, it's just so odd because she can't trust police because they lie all the time. But apparently she was okay dating a sergeant did you catch that she was uh, dating the sergeant you know the altercation you know i'm sure you heard it <laughs> that that right there infuriated the hell out of me and then i think about the fact that her lifestyle now is that she goes to these basically i guess what they call underground casinos or these basically these hole in the wall bars and she just loves to go there and meets with her friends. She loves the thrill, the seek of playing poker all the time while drinking every night. Now, from what I also understand, reading, I got an article right here, you know, the, the, the business that she has is a private investigator with that Patrick McKenna, the guy that, that uh, basically that she was working with years ago. He was popular. His name got big during the time with the O.J. Simpson case. Well, she's still been living with him. And there was a, another article, I can't find it now, but I, I made a bit of video where she has been living with this guy. They sold this house recently. They were living it for like a million bucks. So there's a chance that, you know, let's face it. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's quite obvious this guy's been her sugar daddy. We don't know for sure. There's nothing illegal about what's going on. I mean, he's been divorced. You know, so what they do behind closed doors is their business, but I have a gut feeling. And and when I look at this photo, like I'm sharing with you right now, I'm thinking that's probably Patrick's car that's in his name. Because if she's not making any money other than from what she does in poker, and I've also heard that she loves to argue while she's playing down, well, it makes sense. But I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably Patrick's car that she's filling gas up in because this looks like a nice car. And if she's barely holding the job down, if she's working at all, because I don't know anybody's gonna hire her ass. 
Well, folks, I'm glad I got Casey off my chest because when I think of a lot of other cases throughout history, and not that I know them all, for some reason, this particular woman just gets underneath my skin and I just, it sickens me. I mean, th take that back. There's someone else that I was, to this day, in fact, I already did a video about her. I, I uploaded it on my other channel. I mentioned somewhat about it, I think, in the last video. And I should just go ahead and share that video here on this channel. That way you'll know what the hell I'm talking about. If someone local, sorry. My mind just gets lost when I think about Kaylee, Casey, what she did, how she just destroyed her daughter's life. Speculating that YouTube, sorry, sorry, speculations. You gotta be careful, trust me. I just, I do, I just, I really go get lost in that rabbit hole. By the way, if you haven't catched on by now, that's pretty much what this channel is about, going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it at that, seriously. If you have any thoughts, any feelings, or if there's any information that you may have about Casey Anthony, please, please feel free to share the, your thoughts, your feelings in the comment section down below. Sorry to get my tongue in the way and mess that up again. So that's the other reason why I was kind of skeptical about doing these type of videos because Lord knows my, uh, this guy right here gets in the way a lot when I'm trying to speak to the camera. And otherwise you, i.e. you, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm glad I got Casey off my chest so I can move forward and get pissed off about other individuals out there that's made things so much of a mystery. It's been unsolvable or we're speculating all the time or just occasionally just get out there and try to chase some ghosts where maybe they won't frustrate me nearly as much as this monster living down in Florida. Alrighty, well, if you do like this sort of thing, you know, the speculations, the unsolved mysteries, the American crimes, spooky, spooky ghosts, hopefully, well, not too spooky, Casper type of ghost, then please hit that subscription, 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 yeah, you gotta hit a subscription button on my channel, now please hit that subscribe button down below, along with that notification bell because that will obviously notify you the next time I attempt to talk about someone who's seriously pissed us all off because they tend to get away with more than what they should. Right, OJ? With that all being said, please enjoy and be safe in this year of 22 because it's going to be a better year, right? Hell, we all deserve it. All righty. Well, I'm going to take a break and watch a comedy. You know, that funny stuff that I used to enjoy, right? All right, you take good care. I'll see you soon. Bye.